Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 111. Today we're going to be looking at alternative Blender add-ons for Hollywood proprietary software. Hollywood movie producers work with large budgets for VFX, that's why they can afford expensive software like Massive Prime. Massive Prime was one of the software used for battles in the Lord of the Rings. Its license starts at 1600,000 US dollars for the first year. You are not buying a perpetual license. This is just a subscription. There are a lot of other software like Ziva Muscles that works with Maya to generate muscles for animation. These are expensive applications used by big budget studios to make big budget movies. For independent artists like you and me, this list is a list of alternatives to such applications, specifically add-ons that work in Blender. Blender even with these add-ons may not dethrone Houdini for its procedure capabilities or Maya for its animation capabilities, but as an individual, you never use all the features in one project. Most of the time, you are just using 1% of the application's capability, which is something Blender can handle and sometimes handle better if you use it with some add-ons. So let's dive in and look at these alternatives. Number one, we have Hollywood Crowd Creation Software versus Blender add-ons. One Rodeo Visual Studio company wanted to create an army of zombies in HBO's Game of Thrones series finale. They relied on a software called Golem. When the producers of Lord of the Rings wanted millions of orcs to fight in a battle, they could not find orcs who would risk their lives for this. So they relied on an expensive software called Massive Prime to do it for them. If you are on a low budget but you want to make animated crowds for your movie, you can try a free crowd simulator called MyAmi. MyAmi is free to use in Maya so as long as your crowd does not exceed 100 agents. If you want more than that, you will have to pay up about 3000 on your first year and 1300 every six months. If that's not in your budget, then you will love this Procedure Crowds add-on for Blender which is just $18 for the full package and you own it forever. It does almost everything you can expect from a crowd. If you want an alternative to Procedure Crowds, Crowd Fashionista is going to give you the same functionality and a quick way to customize the character clothes and look. These characters are a bit more detailed but it's a little bit more expensive than Procedure Crowds at $39 but compared to my Ami's $3,000 price tag, this is peanuts. Number two, we have creating massive worlds in Blender versus Hollywood software. When the massive world of Forza Horizon was being made, the producers knew it was going to be impossible to hand model and place all the stones, rocks, grass, mountains, and extremely large landscapes featured in the Forza Horizon series. So they relied on Houdini's procedure generation tools to create a procedure dynamic and cohesive world. This would enable them to make changes easily without breaking everything or going back and fixing things by hand. When it comes to this level of world generation, no tool comes close to Houdini. But surprisingly, the second best is Blender. Thanks to geometry nodes and add-ons like True Terrain, you can easily create massive worlds with materials, roads, mountains, plants, lakes, and rivers in a few clicks. There are also geometry nodes generators that you can use to generate assets to use in your world in a matter of seconds, like uh, this procedure castle generator, this procedure building generator, procedure planet generator, a rock generator, procedure river, and even larger list is going to be included in the description. Number three, let's look at fluid simulation in Blender versus other software. For fluid simulation, Cinema 4D does not have an inbuilt solver, but you can buy plugins like X Particles by Iridium or use Next Limit's Real Flow, which may or may not be discontinued as it has not been updated in years. Maya has Biofrost, which is quite impressive, and 3ds Max comes with some fluid simulation tools, but they are not the best. On the other hand, Blender comes with its own inbuilt fluid solver called Mantleflow. It's a powerful tool, just limited with how you can control the fluid. It's like having a Lamborghini with a crappy steering wheel. It may be fast and great, but you can't control it easily. But if you want to create fluids with a creative way to direct the fluid, then Flip Fluids is a proven add-on you can add to Blender to make it produce results. 
all you want is a realistic looking option or a water shader, you can try out real water, another add-on for creating realistic looking water. This add-on is not a fluid solver and does not support things like floating or fluid splashes, but for a simple scene with good looking water with color sticks and foam, it does a great job. Number four, we have fire and smoke Hollywood simulators versus blender add-ons. Houdini is Hollywood's favorite for smoke and fire simulations thanks to its Pyro FX solver. This is the most used tool in the VFX industry. 3D Max has no inbuilt smoke simulator, but you can buy Fume FX. Maya has the inbuilt Biofrost, and Cinema 4D has third party plugins like Pyro Cluster and Tabulous. And if you're looking for a real time standalone solution for smoke simulation, then there is Embergen. So what about Blender? Blender has its own built-in smoke simulation solver, but like its fluid solver, Mantaflow, you don't have a lot of ways to control the smoke. That's why you use add-ons like Chaos Ultimate Explosion. This add-on brings together the things you need to create a proper explosion in Blender, including rigging body, destruction tools, smoke and debris, fracture and destruction, plus more. If you want an alternative, Kafaya and Kaboom are two add-ons by the same artist that you can use for controlled explosions and destructions. These two will give you the control you lack in the built-in barebone simulator that comes with Blender. Number five, we have Motherless Designer versus Blender Cloth add-on. When it comes to clothes, the Hollywood standard is Motherless Designer or Claw, which are both standalone cloth applications by the same developer. They do everything from pattern design, accurate measurements, and cloth simulation. The Cinema 4D artists rely on Vera, an inbuilt tool for simulating cloth. Maya artists rely on Ncloth. 3ds Max use the cloth modifier, and Houdini also comes with its own Velum solver for cloth simulation. On the other hand, Blender in many of these cases has comparable solvers, but what it lacks are the tools to control the simulations, like the poke and drag tool in Motherless Designer. There are add-ons that can get you the same functionality for a fraction of the price, like Clothes in Motion that has some interesting tools to guide your cloth simulation. Or if you are looking for cloth presets to dress up your character, then Simply Cloth is an alternative to Motherless Designer too. It does not come with the robust features of Motherless Designer, but it will get you where you want to go if that is a fast way to create clothes of different designs and fit them perfectly on your character. If you like Simply Cloth, you will also love its companion by the same developer called Simply Material. Simply Material is a library of materials and presets for clothes. The materials have great detail and can be used in conjunction with Simply Cloth to make proper cloth for your characters. Number six, we have Speed Tree versus Blender Tree add-ons. If Hollywood Studios wanted to create vegetation for cinema or video games, they rely on Speed Tree for that. If you play video games, then you have interacted with a Speed Tree asset. Speed Tree is a standalone tree and vegetation software that can be used to create plants in a procedural way. These trees can also be imported directly into Blender, but it's not a one-click process. It takes time to generate these trees and the importing process takes several steps. But thanks to add-ons like Botanic and Nisaga, you don't have to suffer through the process. All the trees, vegetation you will ever need in different seasons are included in these libraries. These libraries are not tree generators, but rather a library of ready-to-use pre-made plants and vegetations. Number seven, let's look at alternatives to Hollywood material and texture generation in Blender. When it comes to material and texture creation, Hollywood producers rely on applications like Substance Designer for creating materials from scratch in a procedural way. And if they want to apply those materials on models in a way that shows the age and story of the model, they use Adobe Substance Painter. It uses layers and smart masks so you can add all sorts of details to your model. All other applications, including Houdini, Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, and Maya, have similar tools, but none comes close to Substance Painter. Blender is also not better off here, but you can use available libraries like Sanctus Material Library or Fluent Materializer, which are both libraries with hundreds of different materials, so that when you want to produce a scene in a reasonable time frame, you don't have to waste a second on materials. 
any material you want is going to be in the library and thanks to their use of smart masks you can add detail like wear and tear and dust collection to your asset <music> These were some of the alternatives you can use instead of expensive tools by Adobe or Autodex and other developers. This list obviously does not cover everything. I'll make sure to update it in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.